Hello everybody and welcome to a tutorial on how to make mods, texture mods specifically, for Killing Floor 2. That's not gonna waste your fucking time with a bunch of bullshit. First of all, you got to download some called umodel.exe, put it wherever you want. I would put it inside of packages, so you can just go straight to it. Then you want to make the path to the packages and your Killing Floor thing, which is in Steam apps, Game Drive, blah de blah. You probably know how to do this if you're trying to mod. Once you have this set up, you want to turn these off. Then you just want to press OK. And it'll take a while to launch. You also want to download the Killing Floor 2 SDK, which is in library, tools. And then you just want to type in Killing Floor 2 as whatever. So now that it's finally fucking up, close all this stuff. And then there's weapons. And now you basically just want to click on whatever you're wanting. So for example, if I wanted to just export the textures for the P90, we would find the P90, click on the thing that says 1P underscore text. If you want to do the third person model, you do the one that says 3P. And then you just want to press export. Next, you want to go inside of the folder that you have U model in, go to U model export, and you'll find it in here. There it is, I found it. B90 text. Once it has been exported, you're going to want to pull it up using a program to edit. I would suggest paint.net, fuck Photoshop. And then once you're in here, you basically just do whatever, just draw, you know, it doesn't really matter. Once you're done, you want to save as... What I've been told is that you either export it as a PNG file. I've been told to always do that, but I've done it with TGA. It'll automatically be a .TGA. You could just use that. I've never had a problem with it, but if for some reason you're having a problem, save it as a .PNG file. Once the Unreal Editor is launched, if you don't have the content browser, you want to go to view, browser windows, content browser, and this will be pulled up. If it's like this, do this. Go to KF Game, Brood PC, Packages, Weapons, and since we did the P90, we're just gonna look for the P90. Click the little down arrow, look for the 1P P90 underscore text. And what I do, I just right click, Go to the top where it says import. Then we want to look for where we exported it. So that's going to be inside of your U model folder. And then then the exported U model folder. Pull up the P90 text, texture 2D. And then uh, whatever file you edited, let's say you edited the underscore D file. You click in that one, you import it. Uh, okay, to all, it'll ask to replace all, do replace all. Once you've done that, you want to do uh, control S. You're going to want to go to your documents, my games, look for killing floor two, KF game. And then you want to go to unpublished brood PC packages and weapons. And uh, there is the P90. Now, this is what no other fucking tutorial will tell you. Close the UDK editor. Then you want to relaunch, but you want to choose the workshop upload tool. You want to go to map slash mods. If there isn't anything here, make a new one. Then you want to click on it, and then you want to click add. Now, you want to look for the text file. I believe the only thing that's going to show up here is going to be whatever's in the unpublished folder. Then you want to find your mod. Then you want to click brew, brew packages. And then uh, once it's done, you want to go back to your documents. You want to go to published well i didn't actually do it but voila it'll be in here next you want to go to your killing floor two root pc packages weapons the only thing you want to replace is the underscore text file so if you export it and you have all this stuff you just want to go for 1p underscore text if that's when you edit if you did uh, 3p which is third person uh, model then you want to do this one then you just want to drag and drop it into the m4 thing place destination and then you have a functional mod. Nowhere online tells you you have to use this stupid brewing thing. Nowhere online tells you how to do it without taking 20 fucking minutes. What I, I'm going to attempt to make five minutes or less took somebody 20. Two people. This is the, these are the only two tutorials, and I'm not trying to shit on them, but good lord, what is wrong with people when they make tutorials? Just download Camtasia 30 day free trial, cut your fucking, edit your fucking video, and stop wasting time by having us wait for shit to launch, shit to download, and then not even provide all the information that we need, which I believe those videos are outdated, which is why none of them mention the publishing thing, but nowhere else online mentions this. The only other place I could find is Tripwire's fucking shitty modding website how-to thing. Fuck that site. It's it's annoying to look at. They, they don't make it simple. It has to be incredibly difficult, complicated, y y just five minutes versus reading through that crap because they didn't want to make it fucking simplified. Fuck people who make shitty tutorials. Make sure you uh, like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to be making more videos eventually. I've just kind of been in a slump.